Meanwhile, the state legislature has passed a reform bill that would break Milwaukee public schools into several smaller districts. The measure is expected to be vetoed by the governor, but the idea is not expected to go away. Rebecca Clough goes 360 tonight, taking a look at the idea to reform the district from all sides. The state's largest school district, Milwaukee Public Schools, is facing a major shakeup if some Wisconsin legislators get their way. The Milwaukee Public School reform bill would create a new commission made up of elected leaders and community members who would be charged with breaking up MPS into four to eight smaller school districts. To better understand what this plan could mean for you and your family, we're going 360, talking to people on all sides of the issue. We will hear from a Republican lawmaker who created the bill and says it would help students in the long run. The school board president who worries the plan would discriminate against families with fewer resources. Families on both sides of the issue, a parent who thinks this could help students and families, and a grandparent who wonders how dividing up the district could make it better. That's where we begin. I don't think it's a good idea. They think it'll hurt more than it'll help. George Lawson is the grandparent of an MPS student. He believes the district needs to be funded, not split apart. If they were really serious about um, trying to help MPS, when you look at the overcrowding in the classrooms, I think they should put a little bit more money into it. Um, to try better the school system. Parent Michelle Harmon sees how breaking up the district could help. I believe anything when it comes to education, breaking it up in smaller groups would probably be more beneficial to kids. She says she recently moved into the district and her top priority is setting her kids up for success. As long as the education is, is good and she's getting what she needs, then that's the most important thing to me. That's one of the reasons Senator Alberta Darling says she created this bill to help students left behind by a failing school district. We still have the same problems as we did 30 years ago, and we can't persist like this. We have to have a change, a major reform to help these kids get up to grade level, and right now they aren't. Darlene points to test scores that show Milwaukee falls below the state. Before the pandemic, test results showed 19% of students were proficient in English and 16% were proficient in math. Statewide, 41% of students were proficient in English and 43 proficient in math. She says changes cannot be made if parents don't have any influence. Most school boards are smaller and have the ability for parents to interact and have some influence on the school boards. But when the MPS school board is so huge and the district is so, so huge, the parents really can't get access to making really big changes and that's the main reason. School board president Bob Peterson sees things much differently. He says breaking up the district will discriminate against families without resources. Nearly 87 percent of MPS students live in poverty according to the state and Peterson worries families won't be on an even playing field when it comes to choosing specialty schools like a Montessori or a high school. Those families who decide to go to another district have to provide transportation to that district for their kids. And a lot of people who work two jobs or have, uh, you know, don't have a car, they or couldn't afford the time that it would take to transport, the kids can't do that. He says this would add more bureaucracy. The solution isn't to break that up into eight different parts, so then you'd have eight superintendents and 56 school board members and, and eight different groups trying to deal with mental health issues of students. The MPS reform bill has passed both the Senate and the Assembly, but Governor Evers did say he would veto the bill. However, if the upcoming election changes, who sits in the governor's seat? The top two Republican candidates have both said they would back breaking MPS up into smaller districts. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News. Thank you, Rebecca. We've gone 360 on dozens of other topics, including education and COVID protocols. Head to TMJ4.com 360 to watch those.